Greetings from the eccentric man, and with what a cowboy on the horizon, I thought I'd take a little time to do a video on making some terrain, and here I'm making a graveyard for the town. Lost Art Games in Stevenage kindly sponsors the Eccentric Man YouTube channel. Check them out online and in store for all your gaming goodies. Come down and join us on a Wednesday night to play some games. I've had the idea of making a graveyard for What a Cowboy for some time. And I went to Selwig last year and spoke to Iron Gate Scenery and asked them if they could make me some graves similar to those that you find in Tombstone at Boot Hill. And they did. So they took a little time to produce them. But I did get them when I went to Hammerhead and I thought, yes, I'll get on with making the graveyard. Here you can see I'm in the early stages of it. I'm using an MDF base uh, from Warbases. I've got an Amira Mouldings plastic hill. I've got the Iron Gate scenery gravestones. I've broken them down just a little bit and that's given me a, a little bit extra uh, space to get them on the board. I've got some balsa wood uh, fencing and posts, which I made myself. Stuck it all down with super glue. Then I applied some Vallejo Earth Texture acrylic to the base. Uh, I use a, a paintbrush and just sort of swirl it on. I don't go too thick because it might warp the MDF underneath. So that got us to our basic uh, graveyard. Next, I sprayed it with Halford's Grey Acrylic Auto Primer. Uh, I do like using it. It's a, a good primer that I use on all my metal figures. So I did that all over the base, and then I painted the sandy part with um, Decor Americana Fawn, uh, and went over the uh, hill with that as well. You can see that I've painted the stones on the graveyard, in different color um, browns, going from light to dark. And then the fencing and the uh, posts I did in chocolate brown uh, from Vallejo. You can see I had a few um, broken bits of stone left over from when I was uh, smashing up the, smashing up, uh, breaking up the, the gravestones. And I've used those to scatter them around the tombstone in the middle and a couple of bits up by the big rock at the top and down his bottom corner. So that was sort of it, uh, and a bit of dry brushing on the hill. The base colour of the hill at the back was XV88 from Citadel. I then gave it a dry brush with Zandri dust to get it a little bit lighter, and then a bit of Vallejo Iraqi sand. I had a bit of trouble remembering that. <laughs> I then did a 50-50 mix of water and Army Painter Soft Tone Quick Shade. And I put that over the rocks and the upright wood and over the gravestones. Then I went over everything else with it. I think this wash then brought all of it together. Uh, I was a little bit worried before I put the wash on, but the wash seemed to do its magic. Once dry, I gave everything a dry brush with Iraqi sand and then a bit more random with Vallejo Buff. Uh, and you can see it worked quite nice. I added loads of different tufts, uh, some big tufts, two different shades, and some smaller tufts. Uh, and I think that sort of really gave it a nice effect. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without having a hanging sign on the posts. So uh, I did a little handwritten sign, and I think, yep, it gives it that final little touch. Anyway, that's how you make a graveyard. Well, I hope you enjoyed the build. I was very pleased with the final outcome and I still got a gold mine to build. Uh, I'll probably use the same techniques that I used here, but I am getting a 3D printed entrance to it and mine carts and tracks, so that should be fun. Keep tuned. Subscribe if you haven't, uh, hit the notification button and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you've got any questions about the build, please put them in the comments below and I'll uh, answer them as best I can. Until the next time, take care.